almost my opinion. Oh. Bruh. Only got time to do a live today. Look at all that dandruff. Oh my god. But I'm healing. Okay, I know it looks scary. But I'm healing. I'm hella healing because all the scabs are coming out. You guys don't know, I had really severe dandruff. Look, it just, it's automatically coming off without me scratching it. So my lips are shiny. I went back to using my regular shampoo. Like this, it looks funny, huh? Oh wow, yes. that was a big, big freaking hello. How are you? Welcome to the live. Happy Easter! I hope everybody's having. I'm not gonna do the live for that long. I know a lot of you guys have a lot of plans, probably want to watch your families, and you probably don't even have time to watch a live so. It's gonna be really brief. It's just maybe like a 30 minute video live. So you guys, what are you guys doing today? What did you plan for today? For Easter? It was like a storm last night. We've been having rain like almost every day here. It's been crazy. Look at that. Happy Easter, happy Easter, yay! <laughs> so, yeah, so, trying to do this really short and brief. Um, today is the last day of my manager. She's moving to another store. So we're trying to have a good day today, you know. Give her her farewell and, you know, her good luck at the other location. Um, it's unfortunate she's leaving, you know, overall she was just very, you know, she was nice, so that's what counts at the end of the day, kindness, um, or uh, we're getting a guy, don't know who it is, don't know his name, I mean, I know his name, but I've never heard of him, so, yeah, hopefully he's cool, you know, just, you know, nice i guess um we don't expect everyone to be cool obviously but just kind i'll say at this point as long as they're kind you know because i don't think we've been getting you know all the best but yeah try to do a super quick makeup it is easter um let me see I wanted to strain my hair, but I don't think I'm going to have time. Unless I do a really, really fast makeup. So, let's get to it. This will be like the fastest makeup I've ever done. I already did my eyebrows off camera. That's why you guys already see them kind of done already. I was going to start the live earlier, but... My cat was in need of a lot of attention right now. So... He was blocking my whole vision right now. He's blocking the whole vision trainer. Huh? So he got distracted with my little hip bend. So now we're good. today I did went to my boyfriend's house yesterday after work to go pick up 
food for my boyfriend. I'm not sure what makes us makes us both of us actually food, and um, I ask him for a little bit of advice. I guess you might say. Um, I think I'm gonna follow up to it though because. There's just too much drama at work. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. There's just too much drama at work. And I'm not a pretty one. Um, Chisme is entertaining, I guess you might say. But, um... At this point, it's just not entertaining for me. You know, it's just they're slandering my name and I'm just, you know, I'm over it, you know, to be honest. Alright, can I do the foundation next? I think I can, yeah, I think I can do like, oh, I think I put another thing, guys. Ask me for what you're willing to do. If you really think about it, minty is just cold spicy. Huh? <laughs> if you really well, minty is just cold spicy. Hmm. You didn't think of that one. Minty is just cold spicy. I'm not gonna be involved in work anymore at all. Just done already. I'm gonna go and just do my job and be because this is the thing that got me in trouble. It's just literally giving the information that obviously they're gonna have if they go ask another person. But you know, I just let them know ahead of time. I always tell them, hey, this is what I think, but. I, if I was you, I should go ask, you know, the main one, which is my main boss, because I don't know the right, I say I don't know the right stuff, you know, like, I'm just manager, you know, so go ask them, but for some reason, because they come to me first, they don't like it, you know, but the reason why they come to me first is because they're scared to go up to them, you know. And I got thrown in the fire for that, so I'm just gonna stay to myself now. Just not have a question about anything. Just you know, go ask, go ask her, go ask her. Um, I'm not gonna be involved. I'm gonna be like, no, I don't know, I don't know. And it sucks because I do know sometimes, but apparently, me telling them information just it's me having a big mouth. So just I'm not gonna say anything. I have that little shit here. <sighs> but yeah, guys, that's the situation. It looks so dead, huh? Get up a little bit of hair here or something. Washed my hair last night. More crazy, huh? You're telling me you dye your hair? I'm like, no, it's been dyed since like three weeks ago. Style, it looks better, I guess. You guys, kid you not, I had a huge ass pimple right here. Do you guys see it? It's like the scar now. 
it was the weirdest pimple ever it was like a pimple but it wouldn't want to pop and it was by itself of course it was by itself but it was just so random and it didn't want to pop i'm gonna go back to using my regular cobble key brush because it's just more firm than the other ones but if you guys can't afford this one, obviously this one's cheap, it's five dollars, and this is five dollars, so you can afford both. But this is more fluffy, this is more firm, so I, I like this one too. It's so cute, but I just feel like this one just gave me more coverage because it's just you know firm and stuff. I just apply the foundation all over, you know. I wish you guys would ask me questions. <laughs> I don't know what happened at work. Just cheese me, Sonia. People threw me on the fire pit and I got chewed out for it. You know, for giving information that's about work. So, you know, the person I gave the information to went and said that I gave him the information, which he didn't even say the right stuff. He added some extra shit in there that I never said, you know, that I never stated. Those words that were put in there, they were out of context, but obviously, you know, I couldn't explain myself because she said that, you know. Mm, over it. I was just like, you know what? I'm over it since yesterday. Done. Um, now that my other manager's leaving today, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know. I'm gonna last as much as I can, but I'm to my limit already. I just can't work in these circumstances where you're just pressured. You know, they don't pay me a lot to be under this much of stress. You get me? I just, why can't I just work and that's it? Why does it have to be so hard? I don't understand. That's where my question is. Why does work have to be hard with this person? Why can't it just be work and just leave it at that? One moment I punched out, leave it alone, you know? But it's not like that for some reason, it's not. It sucks. I just wanna work. Come and do my job and leave, you know? It doesn't have to be that serious. You know, we, I mean, yeah, it has to be serious, but at the same time, it's like they take it to another level that they push you over the edge. I don't want to be pushed over the edge. I don't want to, you know? I really don't. What is that? Why is there water here? Oh, it's toner. I was like, wait, did he pee up here? Because my cat was up here. So I'm like, did he pee? He didn't tell me. But yeah, guys, that's basically what it is. Uh, yes, that's unfortunately that's where I'm at, Sonia. I'm not gonna trust anyone anymore. That's it. I'm done. I had another blush. I'm not gonna trust no one. Absolutely no one. I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush, and I actually want to use it right now. And I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's right here. Let's try to use this one. I feel like I've never really gave it a chance. So let's do it. It does have this little blending brush. So now that I know how to use it, I'll be able to do it now. So get the blush. I put it away after I didn't know how to use it. Remember? If you guys see my video on this one, um, I couldn't use it. So I was like, Ugh, I'm not going to. I hate it. I don't like it. I didn't know how to use it. But now that I do the same thing, which is blush and a brush. <laughs> so I think some people are miserable and take it to work and make it difficult for everyone. Oh, it's because look, Sonia. I feel like I can trust people, right? 
Okay, so the problem is the brush. The brush sucks. So let's use my regular brush. The thing is that you can find people information, right? And you'll be like, oh my god, they're gonna, you know? Just take it as advice or whatever the case may be. Yeah, it was the brush. The, the brush sucked, so, but the blush is nice. And they take it to someone else that obviously wasn't the right person to share with, obviously. You know, my boss, I don't get her. Like, she says she doesn't want gossip, but... Oh, I have something here. Oh, I think I made myself bleed. Oh, shit. Oopsie. But I think she's a, she's, a, she's surrounded by it, you know? She's surrounded by it. That's just what it is. And, um... I'm also involved in gossip, you know? A lot of people at work don't like me. <laughs> you might think, oh my God, you know, cause I guess here in live, I'm kind of nice, but I will say the reason why people don't like me is because I sometimes am doing my job and I do tell them what to do. Majority of the people in general, I think in this world, don't like being told what to do. <laughs> That's just what it is. I've never disrespected them. I've never said anything to them. It's just they don't like being bossed. And because I come in, you know, when I was promoted and, you know, I did my job. Hey, I need you to do this and that and this and whatever's, whatever's. And they don't like being told what to do. Why the majority of, this peop of the people that work don't like being told what to do. Answer me that question. If you're someone that gets bothered when someone upper than you tells you what to do. You know, and I say it in a nice way too. I'll be like, hey, hon, I need you to take out some apples, please. We're missing low on apples. Majority of them take it good. And then some people were like, well, I don't have any more. That's why it's empty. You see, that's the response. It's like, that's an example. I'm not saying that's happening, but that's like an example. Like, okay, I'm like, hey, hon, can you, like, take out more meat, please? Thank you, love. That's how I respond. Thank you, love. Like, if they get it done, thank you, love. But that's the way I talk, you get me? And majority of them understand. They're like, oh, yeah, I got you, Yuli, I got you. See, those are the people that understand. You know, we're here to work. Now, side chick, if you guys remember that, side chick is a new character at work. Side chick does not like me, and I know that for a fact. She's always talking smack, and she's talking smack about other people, too. She is the definition of gossip. Everything that happens to her or she hears, she goes and tells the other person. And this is how I know. I was taking my lunch in the break room, you know, minding my own business, and I was eating my salad, you know, just eating my salad, minding my own business. My eyebrows are so fucked up, I feel them. Like, super uneven. And she comes... I was talking to the dairy guy. You know, I was just talking to him. Um, and she comes running in. She said, oh my god, guess what? And then the guy's like, what? Mind you, me and the, and the dairy guy were just talking about life. You know, like, oh my god, rent is so high now. You know, regular stuff that had nothing to do with work. She come, comes running in. I says, oh my god, guess what? Like, the other dairy guy was saying shit about you. This is what she says, literally. She was saying that you don't do shit and this and that. And this is the response of the dairy guy. So, like, you know, he can say whatever he wants. I really don't care. It's like, yeah, dude, and this and that, this and that. And she, he entertained her for a bit. You know, like, oh my god. You know, let him say whatever he wants, you know. I have a lot to do, you know. I'm short, short stuff, blah, 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 blah. And then she finally answered with, well, you know, I'm just letting you know, you know, because he's saying shit about you. Uh, bitch, no one asked you. <laughs> so that's how things start, you know. So now the guy is probably thinking shit about the guy that's working with him, you know. And they apparently get along. But now because she started all this, he's overthinking it like, hmm, I can't trust this guy. You get me? And they're, they're supposed to work together. Now, this is how gossip starts. But then at work, no one likes no one. <laughs> they might assume that they like someone. This is what happens at work. I myself included. I've noticed it. You're nice to someone, right? 
The moment they leave, oh my God, if someone comes up to you and says, oh my God, let's call them strawberry. Strawberry's a bitch, huh? Strawberry is this and that. And if I've been involved in that, I'll be like, what? I'll be like, yeah, I guess she's a bitch sometimes. That's an example. It's an example, right? But yet, let's say me example, me and strawberry are super tight. This is an example. Me and strawberry are super tight. But then the moment strawberry leaves, someone comes in and tells me, strawberry is this, strawberry is that. You know what? Yeah, she is a bitch. She is this and that. People do that. And it's kind of sad. They do that to me all the time. I ha I feel like I have tight bonds with a lot of people there. And the moment I leave, they say shit. How do I know that they're saying shit about me? I have other people that I'm more mostly close with. They tell me. Um, They'll be like, hey, you know, you know, I like you because you're pretty chill. So... X, Y, and Z, and Strawberry were actually saying that you suck at doing the schedule. Or they say that, why are you at the store still? Or this and that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I thought they liked me. Isn't that a shocker? I'm shocked. I'm really shocked when I hear stuff like that. Because I'm like, wow, I, I speak highly of these people. You know, like, oh my God, you know, I like them. They work so good. And then when the moment I leave, they're talking smack. <laughs> And I'm a supervisor, so I expect people not to love me, you know? I expect that, definitely. And I know my nemesis talks smack about me. Everyone talks smack. Daisy talks smack about me. <laughs> Even though she acts so nice in front of me, she'll be like, oh my God, you know, this and that and this and that, you know? And I technically talk smack about her too, you get me? Why? Because I don't... What's it called? For me, it's literally work ethic. Not even smack. Like, oh my God, I don't like her because this and that. No, I'll be like, you know what? Daisy is just not giving what she's supposed to give when I'm not here. I can't trust her running the front end because she can't manage. You get That's my comment on Daisy if it's something I dislike. It's never like, oh my God, did you see her pants? I hate them. Or, oh my God, did you see her hair? It was ugly. Never. It's always, uh, they're probably amazing outside of work, but work ethic wise, they suck. That was always my explanation. I never really have a personal reason against anyone there. It's always something relating to work, which is the reason why I can, you know, see them like, hey, you know, they're just not good to work with because they lack this, this, and this, you know? That's my reason, you know? And if they're a bitch, then I'll be like, you know what? They're a bitch. <laughs> An example again, right? But, yeah, just be careful at work, guys. I don't think you should trust anyone. And I had maybe two or three people that I trusted. And now, because of yesterday, seeing that how many people really throw my name out there like that, I'm not going to trust no one whatsoever. <gasps> it's 948. I'm not going to trust no one. I'm not going to tell nothing. No one. Nothing of my business either. My personal life is going to stay private moving on forward. If they try to ask me anything personal, I'll be like, you know what? Um, moving on forward, I'm going to keep it professional. And, um, you know, the only people that I'm, I'm already involved with outside of work, I'm going to stick to it. You know, like Sylvie, you know, she doesn't even work with me. So it's, I think, better. Um, you know, I'm going to leave it like that. You know, I'm going to stay professional. That's it. No more. You know, I feel like I was a chill boss and people knew me personally. Now I can't be that boss because I can't trust no one. So whoever that person was and threw my name out there like that, and not only to just anyone, she went, he went, or he, she, whoever it was, went to my boss and told him shit that I was saying. You know, made me look like, what's the word, a backstabber. It made me look like I was saying things out of context. You get me? And I don't appreciate that whatsoever, whoever that was. You know, and I couldn't even explain myself. I was trying to tell my boss, like, hey, you know, that's not true. You know, this person did came up to me, but, and I couldn't even finish my sentence. She just told me to, you know, just shut up and not say anything. She said, just stop. And that's it. Okay, so I'm just over it. I care too much about work. So if there's someone out there that looks sad or they're concerned, I'll go up to them, hey, you okay, hun? Something wrong, hun? And if they tell me their problem, then, you know, I try to listen to them and I try to answer their advice or tell them advice as much as I can. You get me? 
I never told him a specific no or yes. It's just, hey, maybe you should do this or maybe you should do that. You know, at the end of the day, it's your decision. You know, this is your life. You get me? But I never really, hey, don't do this or don't do that. Because my boss, this and that and this and that. You get me? And I just, whatever. So I'm just over it. You can't really do stuff like that, but... I'm just gonna last i'm giving myself three months three months to see where this goes with this person and after three months if i feel i'm getting pushed over to an edge i will go hr i will go to hr just try to ask for a transfer because i don't think it's healthy for me to be this stress you know i don't think it's healthy for me to be this stress and um yeah and that's it i think these people know me too well and I feel like they just, majority of them think, or they pretend to respect me, but the moment I leave, they just say shit about me. That's not cool. You get me? Because I feel like I helped a lot of people there. And then now it's just kind of like, I don't trust no one. I was telling this to one of my coworkers yesterday. And she just said, you know, just stop trusting people. That's the thing. I'm too gullible at times that I just feel like everybody is kind, but I forget that we live in this world that everybody's just not kind. Unfortunately, that's what it is. They're not kind. So I have to watch my back. You know? I have to watch my back. So, you know how I always say, oh, people at work are not your friends. I always kind of like defended that. I'll be like, no, people in your, at work can be your friends. I feel it can, you know? I feel like I've gone through so much at that store that I feel that I can't call those people my friends. But no, I don't know so much. I don't think I can. I don't think I should. In high school, I used to be so to myself, guys. I've never considered no one friends. If you guys wouldn't talk to the people that were even hanging out with me. One of them one time said, am I your friend? And this is what I said, no. No, you're not my friend. And I remember I, she was sad. I was so mean back then in high school, by the way, guys. I was very um, to myself, like a hard rock. And nothing kind of hurt me, basically. People will call me the meanest names. Nothing will make me cry. I never shed a tear when I was younger until I turned 22 and I got my heart broken. That's the only time I cried for real, but I've never cried. My brothers and parents always saw like, oh my God, Yuli never cries. And when this friend told me, am I your friend? I said, no, you're not. She said, where am I? You're an acquaintance. That's what I said. I said, I don't believe in friends. That's what I told her. Because I used to read a lot of books, like mangas and even regular books. Best, friend, best friends were always backstabbers. They never were someone you can trust. That's what I always thought. Like, they could be nice to you, but then they're saying smack about you. So where is the definition of loyalty to a friend? That's what I always thought. I remember her eyes got satin. She was, like, sad. And then I felt kind of bad a little bit, but I was like, no, I don't trust anyone. And I was like that. And then until I got my first boyfriend, I became so open. And I started trusting people so easily, and I became stupid. That's where it was. Sadly, you can't even trust your own family sometimes, you know? Even your own family talks smack about you. I know my mom talks smack about me when she talks to her people in Mexico. Oh my God, this and that, she this and that. But I, I give her a pass because she's my mother and moms are never, or family. It's never satisfied with your decisions. Like, oh my gosh, she could have been this, she could have been that, but she's just working for a grocery store. 
you know? Just where it is. <laughs> Qué mujer más aburrida, no tiene nada más mejor que hacer, right? Hi, happy Easter, Weezy. If someone else was in your position, they wouldn't like them either. Exactly. Yes, yes, that's true. People don't like authority. It's kind of inevitable. But it is what it is. Your hands absolutely amazing. Very big show with long nose, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to do my nose yet. <laughs> Nine to a month, which is Tuesday, probably. But yes, when yeah, that's what it is at, to be honest. it's gonna be hard if you're someone with authority you're gonna stay with that demeanor you know even if you get demoted and be like oh you know i'm just gonna be a cashier you can't you already kind of are used to bossing people around Sorry about that, Yuli. One day you'll have a position you enjoy and you won't have issues. Maybe you can get a transfer. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. I think they are moving people around, like a lot of them. I'm surprised that I have stayed at my location for a year. Um, usually when they get promoted like I did, they get transfer. I don't know why I'm still at that store. I don't mind driving the extra mile somewhere else, to be honest. At this point, I'm driving like 30 to... Yeah, 30 minute drive and then on um, when I have 8 a.m. shifts, it takes me an hour to get to work because of the 405 traffic. So at this point I'm doing the one hour, so might as well get transferred somewhere else. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I have to leave already. It's Sunday. There's no traffic right now. It's going to take me like 15 minutes to get to work. Yesterday it took me like 18 minutes to go to work because there was nothing in the freeway. It was so empty and that's because it's the weekend and Easter. So people are just at home with their families or at the park. requested five days guys a ver si me los da so i'm going crazy off with this eye mm -hmm. this 
Está como medio raro, no sé. Hvað tæmi þessi vugt hann? Það er góður í. Can you request it? Um, I can. And, oops. I can request it, but the thing is that it's gonna be like, uh, what's the word? I rather tell my boss up front because I feel it's a backstabbing move. If I go behind her back, you know, ask for it, you know. I'm not asking her for permission to ask for it. I'm letting her know that, hey, I'm trying to see how much I can last. Because sometimes she has good days, you know, she's cool. And then sometimes she just, you know, flips over and it just turns to this person that kind of hurts people's feelings, turns mean. So, I don't know. But, the, like I said, I'm already over the edge. I'm already, like, stressed and stuff, so... Like I said, I know my limits, so once I have my limit, I'm gonna say, hey, you know, just to let you know, nothing against you, but I'm just highly stressed here. You know, it's just, actually, this hurt, but <laughs> um, just to let you know, I'm gonna talk to, you know, whatever, whatever, say Chan, and I'm gonna request for a transfer. You know, I appreciate it if you accept it because it's becoming a health issue, you know, I'm very stressed. I feel like I'm getting sick being here, you know, working under the circumstances, you know, how this, how this is going, you know. And maybe she's like, well, maybe you're just not fit for the position because this is what you're going to do in anywhere you go. Or maybe I shouldn't say the job. It's just like, I feel like I've been here too long, you know, I feel like I need like, just say like I need a challenge and go somewhere else different to try to get a whole new crew under management, you know? That's what I should say. And I'm ready to just go out there or whatever, go ready to be at a new store or something like that. But obviously she's the problem. <laughs> you know, it's just too much. It's sad though, because I've, no matter how much shit she says about me, but I've been the only one that actually felt to believe that, hey, there's a lot of kindness in her because I've seen it. You know, I'd be like, hey, no, I'm going to stick around. I'm going to stick around. And everybody keeps saying, you know, hey, this and that. You know, you know, she can have her moments. She's this and that. But she has her good moments, too. And I'd be like, you know, she, she could be good. She could be good. You know, because I hate this about myself most of the time. But I could look a lot of the good in a person even though they're really mean and i try to go by that you know like no they they, they're, they have seen them i've seen them been nice so i'm gonna go by that but they keep treating me like shit then no i'm not gonna stick around I'm definitely not gonna stick around you know it's just how it is and it's sad but I, hello, I didn't get a notification that you were live today. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm about to head out, though. I hope everybody has a beautiful Easter. Um, friendly reminder to always stay kind to yourself. And health matters, you know. Um, besides the gossip that's going on at work, I've just noticed that I'm becoming sick. <laughs> um, I have, like, a weird pain in my, right here on the side of my my hand. My hand, my, my back, every time I work with this person. Um, when she's not there, I feel really at ease and very relaxed and I get to focus on my job. When she's there, it's constantly do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And I can't seem to function right. And I make more mistakes than usual. Because I'm so pressured to finish this by this, by this, by this, and this certain time. And I get, oh my God, I get overwhelmed. That's the reason I get overwhelmed. I become overwhelmed and I don't know, I can't function, you know? I start making mistakes and then that's when she catches me. She like, don't know what's wrong with you, but you're not doing this and you're not doing that. Like yesterday, she made me feel like shit. She made me feel like I was useless, that I'm not doing my job right, and I'm this and that. I never say, hey, I'm the best manager ever, never, because I'm not, you know? Hey, I have the very best scores, this, this and that. 
I never do it because I'm not. In the beginning, when I got promoted, I had really good scores. You know, I was doing really, really extremely good. You know, I got so much recognition. I got four certificates. As a brand new um, manager, I was getting recognized by corporate. So it was really a big move for me. After that, working more deep with her, I felt so much pressure, you know, and my communication fell off. You know, I started to become like whatever's, you know. Not that I gave up, it's just I was so overwhelmed with so much stuff to do that I wasn't focusing on my other stuff. And those are the things that were, were, were really important as well. So I became a mess. <laughs> so for her to tell me yesterday, like, oh, you're not doing this, you're just falling out. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, you're just falling out. And I'm like, what do you mean falling out? When I'm here, running around like crazy, still caring, still giving a fuck, she comes to me that I'm just falling out. Don't know what's going on, but you're just not doing good anymore. Like, or maybe if I keep doing bad, she will not want me there anymore and she will transfer me. I just thought of that right now. Hmm. But then I, it's not fair, you know. I'm not the type of person to do that. My nemesis did that, the, what's it called, the one that reported me did that. They purposely did bad because they want to be at that store. They want to get transferred. I'm not like that. I'm still going to be trying my best. I have always been doing my best. And I'm going to continue to do that because that's just my demeanor. That's me. You know, I give a fuck. But even though that's not enough for her, then that's her. That's her problem. You know, that's whatever she wants to do. But stay kind to yourself. You know, if you're having a health issue at work, I say really um, make a plan. Because that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to plan everything. I'm going to plan my day. Um, what to do at work. So I'm more organized. Because I have been more disorganized. And um, just be more professional at work. You know, I still kind of joke around. Because that's just how I get by. You know, that's just my personality. I like to laugh and I like to joke around. But anything has to do with my personal life. I'm not going to talk about it. Anything has to do with anything with work. I'm not going to talk about it. Just with my job. That's it. <laughs> have a beautiful day. I'll see you guys really soon in the next life. Bye my love. Yes, definitely. Yes, I have been super stressed, but.